What's up guys, in today's video, we're working on our little Jeep. Uh, there's a ton of videos out on YouTube on how to do the cut and fold, but we're not doing that today. So let's dive on in. All right, so as a lot of you guys know, if you guys are watching this video, you probably own it next to you. You're probably looking at how to cut your fenders. Now, like I said, there's a ton of videos out there on how to do the cut and fold, which is where you, you know, you cut sections up to here, and then you end up hammering it back because as you can see, there's the pinch weld here. And that's because this is two seams welded together. So you don't want to just cut that out. But if you do, you have to re-weld it together, which is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do that. So we want to come all the way up to this line here. So I'm just going to try to mark it out with this Sharpie. All the way down. If I had tape, I'd tape it off, but I don't. So we'll just kind of wing this line. You can always clean it up later, you know? You can pretty much see where the fender flare was lying. We're kind of just following that. All right, we're gonna end up, we're gonna get the cutting wheel and we're gonna cut all that out and we're gonna cut this off here. I went inside, I changed my glasses, didn't wanna wreck the good ones, but let's go ahead and start cutting some shit. Now we're going to go ahead and cut through all of these pinch welds. You can see them all out here. I'm going to mark them with the Sharpie. Can't tell if there's any there, but we're going to go ahead and cut through all of those. All right, so we're gonna end up cutting through both layers of this. And then cutting through the pinch weld is gonna help us rip this apart from this layer once it's all cut. So let's go ahead and we're gonna cut all those out of there. that then we're gonna grab uh little pliers and uh we'll start pulling all those pants little pieces out of there i think 
we might have still have a weld in there. So. She's a little crusty in here. We got a few more that we gotta take care of here, but we're getting closer. All right. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a hammer. I might have to make a couple reliefs in here so we can bend all this in towards the. Like we might have to make some deeper cuts here to get that to bend in more. <laughs> We're just gonna take a flat disc. We're gonna clean all these surfaces off and hopefully we can get some clean enough metal to weld to. I did the cut and fold on this rear quarter piece right here. So we're gonna end up tacking this all in as well. And then, I don't know if we'll do it in today's video, but we're gonna make a patch panel right here and weld that in. So this is all closed in. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. up everything's cut get the welder set up and uh we'll start packing these all up onto this uh quarter
So as you can see, you're just gonna go through, kind of try to press it in there, pack them all in. Once we get it all packed in, we'll be able to kind of go through, fix everything, straighten it out, get it all welded up nice and neat. Yeah, it is pretty rusty, so it might be a little tricky in some of these spots where the, the metal's not very good anymore. But we're gonna do our best, and as long as it's kind of held back together, it'll still be strong as it used to be. But that's all we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep going. Also, don't be like me, I'm not wearing welding gloves, I'm wearing Crocs and shorts. Definitely not the safest thing in the world. Wear your PPE. Go. All right, so now we've got this seam for the most part welded shut. There's a lot of thin, rusty metal here, so I've kind of just, just left it for now. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so we want to get this side done. But once we're at this point, we're going to go ahead and take, a, take our cutting wheel and we're going to cut off all this extra metal. And then we'll put a flat disc on and just smooth everything out. Eventually, we'll end up painting the whole side from here down black, just like the Rusticon. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Now, I could definitely spend a lot more time here smoothing this all out, make it look nice. I don't really care. This thing is going to end up being a wheeling rig eventually. So for me, this will work. I might, you know, go over it a little bit, clean it up later on. And then if you kind of come in down in here, we do have all these little gaps here. Now I'll probably come back eventually and I'll weld all these in, fill them all in. Probably when I do this patch panel here. But for now, it's hot, I'm done. And uh, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. So if you guys are contemplating going up to, you know, bigger tires, 35s, 37s, and uh, want more clearance out of your XJ, this is the way to do it. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.